Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in once again. Let's see who we get this time. We've done the back-to-back -back deleted runs recently. Uh, we've got Tainted Zack here, a character we haven't played as in a little while, so why the hell not? This character tends to be pretty darn good. Um, again, kind of similar to regular Zack, where we play, where we, we use Snake Eyes to... Um, ooh, the Nugget is an interesting item to get off the bat. Uh, in fact, can we use the Nugget to get that key? Maybe. Uh, maybe not, because we have to miss for it to count, right? Yeah, so Nugget's an interesting item. Essentially, when we miss, we do a little explosion. This is this is the item that won me the Dad's Home Plus um, challenge. So, pretty damn good. Also, as you can see, it covers pits. Um, so, yeah, this guy starts with the um, sort of zappy green eye effect that you just saw. Um, one thing is you do have to actually miss for it to take effect. So, it's not always super easy to purposely miss. Uh, we gain luck upgrades for every gem that we have. But if we hold too many gems, you can see them in the top left there. If we hold too many of those, it will cause us to uh, take damage. But um, based on how many we end up keeping, uh, it also depends on the negative or positive effects we end up getting from popping it. So, we can get uh, random consumables or enemies spawned. So, it is a little bit of a tricky, um, tricky thing to manage. But much like, um, much like regular Zack, I find it's very passive. Like, it's not like, what, what, like, I'd say one problem I have with the Zack characters is I really like Zack and Tainted Zack. They're, they're, they're fun, but there's not enough incentive to use their unique mechanics. Like, the, with this character, the only reason you essentially use it is um, because if you don't, you take damage. And then with the other version, I don't know, you just, I tend to feel like the rewards that you get just aren't very impactful at all. Um, so it, it can be a little problematic. I think they need to find a way to make it a little more worthwhile, a little more important to utilize what you are given. We also can have this sometimes where it spawns uh, enemies. Oh God, how? How did I not get hit that first time and then get hit the second time? It just, it's really hard to not hit enemies. We do way more damage if we miss, but oh my god, I've sped him up so much. Um, it's very, very difficult to actually do. Calm down, plumber. There you go. We got him, we got him. But yeah, this is the, um... This is the item that won me Dad's Home Plus. We're going to do a Mother Run this time around because people have been asking for Mother Runs. And I realise I've been neglecting Mother. I've not really been doing many Mother Runs here, so... I will uh, I will try and do a Mother Run. I think it's I think it's worthwhile. I probably should have tried to find Secret Room um, back there. I, I don't really know why I didn't, considering it's literally free. Um, but a few people, by the way, um, have asked, and this is specifically because I've been backlogging, so I've not been able to, about the Mother Runs and stuff. Someone specifically said, oh, could you do, like, a showcase run where you, like, don't take many items and, um, kind of try to show off some of the Fiendfolio content. I'm going to tell you this because I don't think the people that are asking this know. There is a channel ran by, uh, like, the channel's name is, um, SlayXC2. He does absolutely fantastic content on Fiendfolio and Binding of Isaac where he showcases all of the enemies from the mod. If you want to see all the enemies from the mod and see them showcased with very little items or no items, I highly recommend you go and watch his channel because I don't know why I'd do that. <laughs> There's someone else out there already doing it, uh, for one. This is probably a bad idea. Um, there's someone else uh, already doing it for one, but also, yeah, I'm, I'm doing normal runs. I feel like it'd be really out of character for me to not take items on purpose for the case, for the, for the specific use case of showing off the content. Uh, but in, in terms of that, the, um, in terms of that, uh, for, for question of the day today, what is a game you'd really like to see me play? I've, I've been toying with the idea of play, of like, starting up a second channel and playing some other games on there, like, when I feel like it. It wouldn't be, like, super scheduled content. Um, it'd probably be just coming out sporadically when I feel like it. But, um, 
I've already had the idea of doing a second channel where I put the content that me and Nevernim create, but then I also kind of want to play some other games on there. Maybe some less roguelike games, more story-driven ones or something along those lines. And it'd be interesting to hear from you guys what sort of games you'd really like to see from me. So that's my question of the day today. What's another game you'd like to see me play? And by the way, that is no guarantee that I definitely will do this. Or I definitely will play that game. I'd just be interested to know. So I have a bit of a gauge to go off of when I decide to... Um, when I decide to go out and do that. Oh, we got this guy. By the way, I, I didn't even mention about my, my baby, um, what's his name? Baby Pluto, is he called? I can't remember his name now, but he's he's cute and he's, he's amazing. Okay. We definitely need more fire rate. Um, I'm trying to think, is there any items that would cause us to miss more often? I'm not really sure, to be honest. The good thing is we still do decent damage even when we hit him, but we just do a lot more when we miss. So I'm trying to miss. But you've got to miss by the right margin. If you miss by too much, you don't you don't hit anything. But it's kind of a tricky one, really. Nugget's a very interesting item. It has a lot of benefits, but it does also have quite a few downsides. And it can be a little hard to get used to initially. Once you get the distancing right, and it's especially an enemy... What the fuck? What, what the hell's this attack? I've never seen that before. I fought this enemy so many times, I've never seen him do that. What the hell? At least I don't remember him doing that. We took a beating from that dude there. A huge beating. What is our boss reward here? Not good. Also, tier size isn't really what we're looking for here. This was horrible. I mean, the good thing is you can get champions, which um, can give you drops. But... Not the sort of champions we want to see. We got some pills here. Tears up, fantastic. Look down. Look down I really don't care about because the gemstones are giving us luck. We'll take Swallowed Penny here. Uh, oh, we'll go find our other secret room at least. Um, we could open up the dice room. I'm definitely tempted to. Okay, we can't destroy the fires. I kind of expected that to be fair, but... Uh, so secret room has to be here, right? Yeah. I thought so. If that's a full run reroll, I'd definitely be up for it. Oh, there's a glass D100 here anyways. Um, I don't want to lose Nugget, but at the same time, I feel like the items that I've got right now just aren't that good. Rerolls all pick up, so let's take the key and then we'll reroll everything else. Hey, that's nice. I don't know. I I do kind of want to keep Nugget. I gotta say, I'm, I'm enjoying having Nugget, but the other items we have aren't that good. Baby Pluto is decent. We'll take Blasting Cap. Oh my god. I love the music on this floor. It's just so somber. Oh my god, I, I'm getting so frustrated that I can't purposely miss the enemies. I'm really trying to miss them and I just can't do it. And it's so frustrating. We do so much more damage when we miss and I just, I'm not missing. But t yeah, the, the extra tier size definitely didn't help with that. I'll check the shop for a soul heart here. Uh, just a bunch of items, but we might be able to uh, make something out of this. We got a crawl space at least. Wasn't what I was expecting to get, but dude, so many fucking spiders. No, so many spiders and barely any money. Oh my god, stop with all the spiders. This has been a terrible, terrible bit of luck for this room. But we got a crawl space. That is something that I can be very happy about. Um, this is an item that we don't know, so, uh, wait a minute, what? Oh, okay, I see. Hmm. Not a big fan of this. Oh, I can, I can kill this enemy. There we go. Rainbow baby. Decent little pick up there. I wonder what that bomb rock is. Let me, let me try and figure that out, because I'm, I'm a little confused at how, um, how bomb rocks work within this area. Okay, it literally just bombs it. Like... Hmm. I'm just a little confused by this. why there's some breakable rocks in here. So something I should be doing with these breakable rocks. I don't know. I feel like there is, and I'm just not quite understanding it. Either way, let's make our way down. Um, I'll take Swallowed Penny. I think I'll get a little bit more use out of that, considering I have basically infinite explosions in my... Um, current item here. Right, let's make our way. Don't need to find crosshairs for anything. 
Good, good, good. And yeah, we're gonna try and stick on the mother path here. I'd really like to do a mother run. That's the thing, Nugget isn't particularly great for a mother run, so actually, I tell you what I'm gonna do. It's a little bit tedious me going back and forth like this, I realize. Um, but I'm gonna go and grab the D100 and just keep it. Um, oh, it re-rolled it, of course. Of course it did. Me dumb. Me very dumb. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. There's also a half red heart in here, which could have been re-rolled into something else. So let's check what that is now. That's a chest now. Okay. We can actually buy one of the items in the shop now. So this was a bit of a weird back and forth they did this for. And I'm not I'm not particularly known for min-maxing, but sometimes it kind of happens and works out. So we'll, we'll see what we end up getting here. Treasure map is perfect. I'm really, really happy to have that. Um, that should... Should give us a little bit of a better opportunity to find our secret rooms um, as we travel through the floor rather than have to backtrack for them like we have this floor. Nice. Just keep it on. And down we go. Okay, health is a little wavy, not great, but otherwise I think this run's going well. So secret room is probably right here. There you go. See, that's why. That's why we like that. Also, there's a bunch of furniture in here that we can destroy. We don't have to get rid of all of it every room. Uh, we got a D6 here. We also got a glass chest, which is full of some treats for us. We got a glass D2. I haven't really played around with the D2 effect. But glass D6 is super useful for us here. We might be able to get something out of that. We've got a tinted rock just here. There you go. Snake eyes will pop. God damn. Get, leaving snake eyes to get to that level of, um, like, to, to yellow gems is always a bit risky because you get so many more enemies. But the chance of you getting some good rewards is better. we got ourselves a uh, Soul of Eve here, which isn't, eh, it's, it's, it isn't great, but it's something. I think the extra zaps are really helping out. Good. Pop in here. Continuum. I don't really know if that's for us, but the other item would have been way worse. So I'll, I'll take Continuum. Seems like it could be interesting for missing. I don't know. Also, it does mean I think we have Spectral now, which is... Is that a good thing? Yeah, I, th I think that's actually a really good thing, to be honest. And allows to destroy rocks a bit easier. But could we use something that, uh, that, like a tear effect that's affected by luck? Because if we get that, we'll have a little bit of an easier time. Um, thank God I didn't destroy the mirror by accident then. I kind of forgot we needed it. <laughs> Are we going to have a little bit of trouble shooting specific walls when we want to? Because we have so much extra range and stuff now. Okay. Ooh, we do have the um, that item there. I think I'll take that because that is literally infinite money. It's tedious infinite money, but it is actually infinite money. What the hell hit me then? Was it one of these yellow, yellow flies? I think it was. Pop this. Three bonies. Why? Okay, good. Yeah, this is literally infinite money, so I'll take that. I'll also open this up, because we've got three buttons alongside everything else. I regret my actions sorely. Remember when their buttons didn't use to close doors, and you could just walk straight out? It was beautiful. But yeah, now we've got this, where we can just produce money. Um, which isn't particularly, like, it, it's good, but it isn't, like, great, because it is annoying. Oh, it apparently can spawn some cards, too. A bunch of keys. I don't, I don't know why it produced a card there, but I'm not going to complain. Um, there wasn't anything particular I'm doing this for, to be honest, in this room. I need like an auto clicker to just spam the hell out of it. We got to 15. Let's just keep it there for now. Hello, sir. What are you? Oh, God, what are you? Have I seen you before? You seem new. You seem interesting. You seem new. 
Ooh, some of these enemies look pretty cool as well. <laughs> Throw. Throw. Good, good. Is that a tinted rock? It is. Beautiful. Yeah, having infinite money is going to be very good for us, I think. Ooh, these, this guy is teleporting around. And he tends to a fly. We have a reflected heart here. It's just a red heart, though. We do have our um, D6 if we need it. I don't need it yet, but... This fight's always horrendous because this guy has like a bunch of water spurts coming out of the roof that just lag the hell out of the game. Yeah, so he's always a pain in the ass. Okay, good. Things are going pretty well, though, for this dude. I'm getting very confused between his tiers and Pluto's tiers, I'll be honest. But I'm just hoping for the best. I'm trying to avoid them all. We got ourselves a range up, which I'm willing to re-roll. Trinity Shield. Trinity Shield's decent, but it's not great. I think we re-roll both, which I realize we couldn't be getting something far, far worse than Trinity Shield. Not like how quick you're moving towards me, sir. Luckily, bombs at the moment can be used pretty much exclusively for damage. Which is what I'm going to have to do, because I'm rev I, I, he's, he's staying so close to me that I can't really purposely miss. Or at least I'm having a very hard time at doing that. That didn't hit you? How? You're like right on top of it. Oh, come on now, dude. Give it up. He needs to do his beam attack again so I can plant a bomb on him. Boom. Ow. Oh my god, I am playing like shit. Oh, goodness. It's bad, it's bad, it's all bad. Right. This is good. This is also pretty good. Problem. This does not produce any fireworks. Neither does this, because they don't have charges. That is upsetting. We're going to have to find an active that actually has charges. I don't know how you hit me there, sir. That is slander of the highest order. Right. So, I reckon... We'll definitely take this now. I reckon we just play this... Until we're completely bored of it. I think the more money you have, the less it pays out. Because it paid out so much early on. But we, we play this, I don't know, maybe up to 30 cent. Maybe a little bit more, depending on how bored I get. It's kind of an interesting item. Because it is literally just infinite resources if you have the time. So for min-maxes, it's like the best thing ever. Right. I'll go up to 40. I'll try to go up to 40. Is what I mean. Because it is very tedious here. Very, very. <laughs> Absolutely spamming the shit out of this. It's kind of hurting my wrist. I'm going to swap hands. Oh my god, it's actually really hurting my wrist. Not good. I'm going to sue the Fiend Folio devs. Repetitive strain injury. Brought on by one of their items. Right, there's another coin. Three more to go. Ugh. We need to go and get our uh, knife piece as well. Don't forget about that. Two more. Oh my god, come on. It definitely gets way, way harder to get your coins. The higher amount of money you have. That's definitely the way it works. There you go. Okay. We are good. Right, let's go and do our um, knife piece. Didn't find our crawl space. We didn't find our second secret room either. Um, we'll do we'll do this first. Shouldn't be too difficult to get our knife piece here. Do I want to fight the boss again? What boss was it? I don't even... Oh, I, I think I can fight the boss again, to be honest. I would have to go through more rooms, though, is the only thing. We'll see how we do on the way there. Okay. Grab this first. Ow. Not good so far. Oh, 
Oh my god, all of these spawned leeches, why? Luckily, Baby Pluto does a good job of taking those guys out. Top snake eyes here. Good, good. Right, yeah, I, th I think I want to do the boss, just because I've got this Soul of Eve that I can use. Use my babies. These enemies I do not like. I'd rather kill the flies before killing the enemies, but don't always have that choice. I think reflected items free. Okay, so we know where second secret room is now at least. We figured that out. Obviously there won't be anything in it this time around, because we're in the, the reverse area, but. Don't you dare spawn all these bloody stupid willow flies. I hate them. They're the worst. Remember this guy teleports. Ooh, hello. Was, was, was there a tinted rock there? But did I find that last time? I think I must have done. Right. I think we come in here with Soul of Eve. You're, you're not a champion this time, which certainly helps. I did accidentally move that bomb away from you then. There you go. Easy enough for Soul of Eve. We got some HP. We got a Soul Heart. I think that was more than worthwhile. Right, so the second secret room is below. Also, there's some money here for us. Thank you, Fool's Gold Rocks. Freebie there. Back through the mirror we go. Up to 52 cent as well here. Very good going. Money-wise, we are doing good. Right. And then we want to be going straight down. Oh, it actually reveals the second secret room on the minimap look as well. I didn't realize it would. That's good. I don't know if that's a minimap API thing or that's just in general. We get ourselves a little bit of money there. Spawns three random coin pickups. What the hell is this? I don't know what that coin was. Interesting. Yeah, there was like, it was some sort of like weird looking golden coin that seemed to hurt me when I picked it up. It might have given me more money on pickup or something. I'm not actually sure what it did. Right. We're good to go to the mines. That's kind of a little bit of a nice tricky thing to do. Plant it behind the door. Good to go. Let's go down. Really hoping we can get an active item that works with our, um, that works with our spit, uh, our thingy item, our fireworks item, because the fireworks item is a lot of fun. You throw bombs, you do throw bombs. And you plant bombs too, you, you are cool. Snake eyes here, I think. Placed myself in a terrible position. That was a lot of enemies for a level 4 snake eyes there. God damn, but we're, we're doing pretty lucky at not getting hit, to be honest. I say that and then blow myself up directly. Fool. Oh, hello. Oh, there's some bounces. I do not know what them do. Okay, they explode. Stay away from them. This is what <laughs> the aim of the game there. Three random hearts. Sadly, nothing of use. Um. Okay, it's fine. These, this enemy looks pretty cool. Oh, okay. He, like, crashes into a wall and throws rocks at you. Interesting. Like, they were able to move around that bomb that's planted in the floor there. There's also some tumbleweeds here, which I don't think I've seen before. Interesting. Tractor beam. Now that could be pretty darn good. For one, it's a massive tier though. For two, it just could just be good anyways. Um, yeah, I'll do this. Why not? I like the uh, the idea of having the baby Pluto plus the tractor beam like in tandem. I don't know where I can go. Ooh, this is a cool enemy. Kind of like buries into the ground and fills himself up with fire. Like extracts the uh, the larvary essence of the earth. Also, don't know how I charmed that guy. I'm guessing Rainbow Baby did that. I haven't seen that happen so far, but I guess it can happen. It has been known to. Beautiful. Snake eyes again in here. Always depends with snake eyes. Sometimes it's really easy. Sometimes you get some really hard enemies. 
But so far, this, this is kind of what I mean, though, with Snake Eyes. Like, we've not really benefited from it whatsoever. <laughs> it's just made us fight more enemies, and we've gotten a few drops here and there. And it's just, there's not much incentive to want to use it. Like, with this character, obviously, you take damage if you don't, so you have to use it. But, like, there's not much want to, if you know what I mean. Which I think is bad. I think I think the, the characters, they need a little bit of a rework. The, the burns is there, but there's, there's just a little bit missing, I think. The, the finer detail of, like, why they have that item and why you'd want to use it is not... It's kind of lost. Good. I was just about to say I'm looking for the shop, so... I hope we find it soon, and we did. We need some multi-shot things. Something, like... Um... I saw would be pretty good. Stuff like that. Okay, this is good, but not really what we're looking for. Yeah, that, that was that was decent, but I was really hoping we could get an active item there. Let's just pop this. I don't know why I dare to spawn more enemies in a room that's already full of enemies. Ooh, I really like the animation on those dudes where they glow yellow a little bit. There seems to be some slightly odd theming with B-based enemies being in here, but I can I guess I can kinda get it. Secret room could be here. No. Here maybe? There we go. Money is just thriving right now. We have so much. It's always a little sad when you get the item room and shop early and don't really gain that much. I mean, obviously Tractor Beam was good, but the shop being pretty lackluster. Pretty saddening. Golden horse pill. No, 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 not again. That was me. <laughs> Love that noise. I'm loving the voice lines here. I'm just listening to them all. Fish oil? What the hell's fish oil? Oh, does that make our tears larger? No, not again. Honestly, that was like the best golden horse pill ever. We got so much good stuff out of that. I was really positive. Oh, hello. Double no no not again as well. It was pretty nice. Got a lot of these shadow babies. Absolutely cleaning house right now. Um, using a book gives 2020 for the current room. I mean, we'd have a book right now, but if we got one, that'd be pretty awesome. Seems like a very specific trinket. Ooh, I love this enemy. Very cool. Well, hello there. Not only did we find this room... A three room. But we found our ultra secret room. Good stuff, this. Ugh, yum heart. I mean, it's an active item, so I'm going to take it. It'll at least be good for us, but not what I was hoping for. That, more likely, is what I'm looking for. That is a damage up. Although... Not a big damage up, but I suppose we don't have any other damage ups right now, so makes sense. But yeah, now we can actually use the fireworks. Holy shit, the fireworks adopt our tier effects. That's nutty. I was not expecting that at all. That is really cool. Yeah, that is really, really cool. That's going to be very beneficial. I thought the fireworks were just kind of, they are what they are. Also, my snake eyes is completely bugged out. Oh, wait, no. It's, it's just because I didn't have another thing to slot on. It was, it was getting confused. It's not snake eyes, it's bugged. Don't worry about that. What up, you big old pile of burns? 
Why am I using bombs at this stage? He's just going to keep moving. But yeah, you can see right now we just don't really have a lot of damage. We need to get some damage ups. Because if we get some damage ups, they would scale with that one point times six damage multiplier and do real well. It's a very, very good item. Guaranteed one curse per floor for um, a huge damage up is like so worth it. Like so insanely worth it. I think I'd take a, a 20, I think I'd take like a 20% damage multiplier for that effect. And wait, it's worth even a 60 here. Um, yeah. This floor we got damage, next floor we might not though. The South gives a random stat each floor. Yeah, we lost the damage that time. I don't know where we gained it elsewhere. I think it's range by the looks of it. Okay, that's that's so awesome. Oh, secret room. Oh, I never actually finished that room. Damn it. I thought I did. Right, keep going. Empty heart container, shot speed, minus one red heart. Hello, Bumbino. Now we just need a way to charge up our actives quicker. Fire rate's in a really good spot right now, I think. Salsa might give us extra fire rate randomly on floors as well, which is good. Reap Creep. Reap Creep's going to be tough to miss on purpose. Just because we've got Continuum here. We can't, like, miss right next to him. I don't think... Oh, no, it's kind of working. It's kind of working. Oh, my God. Yeah, this guy's, this guy's an actual pain in the ass to kill. Dude, how did that bomb go behind me? I placed it. I stopped shooting, and it went behind me. You gonna brimstone me? Oh, what? There's a little tiny baby rock spider next to me. I did not see that dude. Where did you come from? Not bad, not bad. Okay. Cash room's here. This is a mimic. Caught you out there. Ooh, lots of troll bombs. Very worthwhile. Right, let's check this out. We literally <laughs> entered, picked up four coins, and left with the exact same amount of money. Great. Ooh, I wish I could see my health this floor, because the sacrifice room would be somewhat plausible, I think. Ooh. I'm going to have to play this, aren't I? It was a bust. It was a bust. It is what it is, but we got Yum Heart, so don't worry about that. Oh, you managed to dodge all of that, didn't you? I love these enemies that, like, start off normal, like, have to coat themselves in lava. Also, I don't love taking this much damage. Having a tough time dealing with that guy. Why did I use it in this room? Oh, it lasts into the next room as well. Good. There's no reason to use it right there. Sack Dagger. I don't want Sack Dagger, so I'm in, but I'm at least going to take the other item. Maggie's Bow. Very, very good for us right now. It means um, we'll, we'll heal double for our um, Yum Heart. I very much like the idea of healing double. Got you. Extra enemy spawned in here. Don't need keys for anything at the minute. We've not even been finding golden chests, really. Ah, uh, we've got way too high range. <laughs> it's, so, it's so hard to miss things. Oh, hello. Hmm. 
don't think we need one to two golden pennies, do you? I think we'll be okay. I don't need to grab the second key piece on this floor because I've got a mod that means I can skip it. Mainly because, I mainly skip it because it's real laggy when you're using mods. And it's also just not fun when you've played it a thousand times already, so we skip it. Do -do 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 -do. Snake eyes. Oh, hello. This was not what I was expecting. Um, speed, tears, damage every time you get hit. Okay, we'll definitely take that for now. That's not giving us any stats right now, which is good. Rerolls. Why is the flower? Oh, because that, that keeps happening. I pick up that flower and it turns into the tonsil. Does anyone know why that's happening? Very annoying. Creepily watching me. I don't like it. Stop watching me. Ow. Very bad hit on my behalf there. Right. Ooh, tainted treasure room. Whoa, what the hell are you? Oh, you're charmed. That's so cool. Generate up to four additional rooms. Yes. We lose mapping, but that is very good to me. I like the idea of that a lot. <laughs> Right. Okay, I'm starting to suspect that actually having having um, Nugget plus the missiles just isn't a good combo. Also, you spawned one of those on me. Thank you. Ooh, I just realized it's the um, it's the soy version of uh, Reap Creep. That's really cool. I'm kind of a hard time killing him here, but... Copper Bomb? It actually blew up. Sadly, the bomb got nowhere near him. Okay, he's almost dead. And he spawned a bunch of spiders that are charmed for some reason. Synthoil, thank you. Let's get the hell out of here. Nice. We're doing good so far. Ooh, hello. Ah! Don't know why I didn't pick up on what was going on there. What did we get? Ah, oh, smart fly. Whatever. Not very good. Solian of Apollyon. So yeah, we can get up to four additional rooms every floor, which is pretty good considering they can be special rooms. Like, regularly, it, it, like, it's not amazing, but the fact that they can be special rooms, is it makes it real good. In my opinion, at least. Also, we can't see our health again, which is very concerning because I have absolutely no idea where our health currently sits. Right, would you have a pair throw here? Ooh, firing down some blue bombs, are you? Um, entering a new room has a chance to reveal more rooms. Nice one, yes. That pairs really well with the atlas that we just picked up. Essentially, we can reveal more of the map as we as we move through rooms. I believe it also automatically reveals planetariums as well. Ooh, hello. What is going on here? That was kind of interesting. Wasn't quite sure what I was looking at there. Whoa, that's a big boy. Is he just like a stationary trap? It looks to be. Just don't go near the middle of the room. Oh no, he's just chilling in the air. He ain't bothered about moving. Okay, good, we, we ought to be near to full health now. Remember we do have Maggie's bow, which means that these red hearts and yum heart are healing for double. Secret room has been found. Secret room is bad. Just trying to figure out, like, my game still feels a little stuttery. I don't know if anyone can see that on the video. My frame rate's fine. It's like 54, which is, like, pretty average for a modded run at this stage in the game. It's, it's pretty decent, actually. But it still feels a little stuttery. Another golden pill. Amnesia, speed down, spiders, stompy, balls of no, steel. No, no, I'm excited. Again. Tears up, range up, look down. I feel stompy. Okay, one second. I is back. Let's continue. We've got a Perthra. Perthra, let's go. 
Don't really know which way we're meant to be going. I think this way is good. I wonder why the bomb rocks look like a different colour. Or is it just because they glow? We've got the stompy effect right now. Whoa. Ah, okay, this is good. This is just a straight stat upgrade because it doesn't, um... It doesn't add up the, uh, it, 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 like, it, the tracks of me makes it so it doesn't do its regular effect. And on, on, honestly, we have no map right now, so that's not a huge concern. Down here, maybe? Yeah, down here. Just trying to figure out where the hell I'm going. We do have an insane amount of range now, though, but, eh, whatever. The music's getting real crazy here. Ooh, a little shop thing. How do we get through here exactly? Okay, there you go. We have so much money. I'm not going to not buy this. Good. God damn, the music's actually getting crazy. It's hotting up, baby. I do wish as well Snake Eyes would spawn, like, themed enemies. It seems to spawn, like, a set few enemies and that's it. Oh god, what, what? Oh, uh, you're there. I was like, what the hell's left? This guy's tricky. A fun room, though. Ooh, there's a, a bag of blood hanging above. That's a pretty cool enemy, too. I don't know what these big guys are. Okay, there you go. I say, I've not really seen them stomp on much. Have I been to my item room this far? I don't think I have. Let's see if we can find that. I'm not convinced we will, because honestly, this is very confusing, and I don't want to take too many paths away from where we're meant to be going. Okay, good. Both the rooms we needed are right here. Sump or a reflected item that's doubled. Sadly, having two of those probably isn't very good. You, you may be saying, so why didn't you pair through? And I may be saying, because I forgot. All stats up. Three, st st three soul stones. Sadly, we got duped there, because them soul stones suck butts. I keep thinking those brass bombs are golden bombs, and I pick one up and I'm like, oh, <laughs> disappointment. Right, boss time. I like our little meat hat. Interesting that there's, te there's teleporters in this fight. You do you. <clears throat> Our range is so ridiculous for this setup. Not good at all. Ah! <laughs> I don't know if you saw that then, but I threw the bomb and he actually dragged it towards himself get wrecked. I really like this boss. This boss is designed very, very well. More health upgrades. Cast Penny. Heck no. Okay. Health has got to be crazy right now. No, doesn't matter. Cast the Unknown for the third time in a row. We'll never know what our health is. We just got to hurt. We just got to hurt. I do not like having Stompy. We're not like, we don't, we don't even get chance to use Nugget anymore. Nugget is essentially a dead item for us. It's so unbelievably impossible for us to miss enemies at this stage. Also, yeah, the fireworks are just fucking useless. Oh, god damn, that's so funny. I would go for a reroll if we can find one, because honestly, yeah, this run's kind of falling apart a little bit. We've got some interesting stuff in here, but we've also got a lot of dead weight. Um, poop grids have a chance to be converted into shampoos. Shampoos have better drops. Oh, hello. That guy was about to get crazy. I didn't let him. 
Another Pathra. We can Pathra up this floor if we'd like. And a eh, no, fat heart is good enough. Explosivo would have been far better though. Just a tiny rock spider today. I need some more mass room damage stuff going on here. I feel like everything's going a bit slow because of our low fire rate. Like it's not low for the nugget item because we're not able to use the nugget item correctly. It is quite low. Weird. We're in a very strange situation right now. What the shit? That's not okay. Not okay at all. I wonder if next one will be able to see our health. Oh my god, the fireworks. They're supposed to be so good and they are just trash for us right now. Oh my god, calm down. So many of you, what the hell? So having these snake eyes every five seconds is pissing me off. Cracked key there. Eh. Can I be asked finding where the cracked key goes? Probably not. Oh, secret room. Hello. Poker chip. What does this do? An additional mini boss room will guarantee spawn every floor. That's kind of good. Not really great for us right now. Um, let's pair through this and try and get something better. Remote detonator. Not something better. I rather pair through run so far away as well. I can't be bothered going back for it. Ooh, little devil. Little devil here. That's really cool. Whoa, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. That's a cool little devil. And of course, no actual shop for us. I did have hallway greed at some point, but again, game tanks too much, so I had to remove mods that were able to be removed. Right, we've made our way to the boss. Meat bags standing again. Ooh, I was gonna be, I was gonna say this would be cool to play this, and then pair through, but um, I accidentally fired and I destroyed it. So yeah. Would have been fun. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Sadly, it was not meant to be. Oh, God. Gonna be a slightly stressful fight, you know. This fight, the next mother fight. Not great. One second. One second day. Okay, I just need to make sure I have time to actually finish the recording. It's going a bit longer than I thought. Why do I never guess the right nubbin? There's all these mum holes, and I always guess the wrong the wrong hole of mum. Right, good, good. We got. I mean, we might as well take the negative here for the damage. Take the knife piece. Spawn two permanent Abyss Locus Companions. I will take both of these. I know that Abaddon is a particularly risky one, but I think the damage is kind of necessary for us at this point. I think because of the amount of red hearts we had, it should have given us quite a lot of black hearts. I've already lost one of them, so that's good. Impossible to miss this guy, so that's great. It's going to be the same with Mother as well. That's the problem. That's the issue we're having. It's like not going to be possible for us to miss Mother. Okay, good. Let's go. Please show me my health next floor. I do not want another floor without being able to see my health. Okay, I can. I do have a lot. Good. I can't see my map this time around, which is arguably maybe worse. We'll just do what we can. 
Whoa, these guys are very cool. I, I, I'm realizing now, like, how few enemies in the corpse and stuff I've seen. I'm going to have to do a lot more mother runs. There's a lot of cool stuff on these floors that I haven't seen yet. Pop snake eyes again. Do you know what? Pop snake eyes and then just bugger it. I'm not, I'm not asked for fighting you lot. See you later. You'll just get on my nerves. But yeah, stuff like these guys. Look how cool these guys are. Also, the rocks on this floor look awesome. Got like yelling faces and stuff in them. Faces of agony. And they've got like these dead rooms as well. Ow. Soul hearts. Thank you. I needed those. I, I, I need you. God damn, the last enemy I kill is, of course, the fettered one. What mini boss have we got here? Frail? Okay. A frail kind of fits onto this floor pretty well, actually, doesn't it? I haven't really thought about that. I want to fight Mr. Dead. It's like a, 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 a corpse version of Mr. Fred. Looks like a fun boss. I've never got to fight never got to fight him yet. Still enemies left in here? No. We've gone the wrong way again. Sadly, I think I think we've picked every witch wrong way so far. Oh, what the hell's this guy? He's pointing at me. He's doing the devil's finger at me. Okay, through we go. Ooh, rooms like this can be tricky. There's a lot of spiders. But the fetid, the fetid helps so much. Wrong way again. It's getting infuriating. I hate not having mapping. It's like, obviously I can still go wrong ways when I have mapping, but it's so much more obvious when you're on the wrong path. But us right now, it's just a pain. It's just a pain. Ooh, you can blow the heads off of these guys. That's good. Oh, hello. What the hell are you? I love the doors in these rooms as well. Are you going to pop up somewhere else? Yes, you are. That's a really cool enemy. I'm surprised he didn't spawn more stuff. Also, black art there. Would have rather have done that after killing all of these guys, but there you go. Library here? I can't particularly remember what this does. Gives you flight for one room, applies, um... Gives you flight for one room and applies effect based on value of on-screen indicator. Yes. Why not? It's five out of seven. Seems like it's even more valuable than having Yum Heart right about now. So it just cycles between effects. If it, if it just cycles them, I don't know why exactly you need the uh, counter, to be honest. This will be pretty good for the boss, hopefully. Yeah, it just seems to cycle, so I don't really understand why we need the... Um... Okay, we're at Chimera, unfortunately. Big stat upgrade there, nice. There's also a purgatory thing in here for some odd reason. Even though I don't have that item. Oh, we got a Lemma Get and Wisp for it, I think. Nice. Grab. Speed up is kind of good here. Um, Yes, it's a bit risky with our current HP, but I think that could be really good. Okay, it's a conquest. Oh, this is actually maybe making it so that we miss more often. Because it's like looping back around and uh, passing through the enemy. Like rehoming onto them and landing beneath them. So we're getting the hit of the actual tear and then the hit of the explosion as well, maybe? Hmm. Seems good. Ooh, Brimstone boy got me the Brimstone fella. 
caught me out. So we want to try and get one for our boss room. I suppose that's a good thing about the about the cycling thing. You can kind of track and try to plan out when you're going to use it a little bit. Not tons, but a little bit at least. Two half morbid hearts here that we cannot take. I do keep forgetting that I can just like pass through rooms. Whoa, what the hell? That was pretty cool. This, this room's alive. That was a living room there. A living room. Not that sort of living room. Okay, we found our boss. Good. Snake eyes. The last time for snake eyes here. Whoa, we got all drops. Nothing but drops. Free hug. No! I killed him. I didn't mean to. Right, let's go. Pop this. Didn't get any good special effect there. Yeah, we seem to get in the explosion reasonably often here. Honestly, the damage we're outputting right now is pretty crazy. I very much like. I don't know how we're dodging some of these, to be honest. I think it is working. I, I'm not seeing it happen, but I think it is happening. Yeah, I don't know how I'm dodging so many of these. Am I, am I mini Isaacs taking the hits for me, maybe? Yeah, that one we didn't quite manage to dodge. Might be able to get a better view of what's happening now that we have there. Uh... Oh, God. So, uh, apparently the explosions knock around shots as well. I always, this is one reason I always, like, think Mother's a little bit of a tricky one, because the FPS just gets so wonky with a Mother fight. It's kind of like Mega Certain. Yeah. Not too bad. Hoping she do her dash attack a little bit more. A very easy one for us to, to dodge and set up around. What the hell's going on here? She's not firing the right directions at all. That's not the, how that attack normally works. Not entirely sure what's happening. But, either way, I think she's just about dead. There you go, we got her. Not a particularly hard mother fight. I hope you guys enjoy this run. Definitely a fun one. We got some weird stuff going on towards the end there. And kind of Nugget ended up playing out pretty well there. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.